What's up guys? The topic of this video, as you can see in the title, is going to be something a little different. It's going to be talking about training with a partner versus without. What's up guys? The topic of this video, as you can see in the title, is going to be something a little different. It's going to be talking about training with a partner versus without, and whether training with a partner recruits more gains or more just overall improvements or overall strength and muscle built over time. So kind of talking about both strength, muscle building, all that sort of thing, just overall a better um, environment to train in with or without a partner my opinion on it and then also we'll kind of look at others and other groups of people that are really strong and that um, are kind of strong collectively as a group so to begin um, we'll kind of talk about my experience with training alone and training with a partner and I guess we'll begin with how I started training so if you guys know my story at all I basically was gonna play college football my first year of college um, out of high school I decided to stay home and go to a community college rather than going in gray shirting which is kind of like red shirting but at the D3 level you don't get to practice with the team so I was basically going to be working out so instead of doing that I went home and chose to work out by myself so during that year I was working out by myself training on my own still staying in shape training more athletically to stay more agile quick as well as strong but I wasn't really trying to get aesthetic wasn't really trying to body build or anything like that so during that time, it was about a year solid, I trained on my own pretty much every single day. I would have a few times per week, I would say, and maybe even none um, 
uh, some weeks no um, training partners at all during the week. And during that year, that was when I made the most amount of my progress. That was the year where I did um, a squat every day variation where I was squatting four or five times per week. And I put a ton of um, poundage on my squat. For one, I went up from about 275 to about 335 squatting by myself, doing my own thing. I would have people spot me in the gym, but it was never someone that I knew um, unless, like I said, it was one of those random times. So that's kind of my experience training alone. Currently, I train alone once again. But in a second, I'm going to talk about what I did training for probably around six months, six to eight months. I was training probably more consistently with someone than I was by myself. Um, and this kind of switched um, probably this past summer, which was about three or so months ago. So getting into that, for a while, my buddy um, Nick Eisler, hopefully he watches this video and sees me talking about him. We, we trained together probably almost every single day last winter. So that was a huge period of time where I put on a lot of size on my upper body and I really focused on actually gaining some size um, and developing my body rather than just focusing on strength, speed, explosiveness, and that sort of thing. So that winter is when I really kind of changed things up. My legs had gotten huge from squatting so often that year before, so I really wanted to focus on my upper body that year. Got my bench up, I ended up hitting a 250 bench at about 160 pounds, which is not all that great, but for someone who had only hit 225 that summer before, I was definitely content with that. So, um, being that that was the case, I was training with them every day, like I said, we trained about 5 a.m., 5.30 in the morning, and it was great. Being that he was someone who pushed me a lot, that was definitely something that made a huge difference. Um, I also trained with one of my buddies, Vince Mandela, who you guys have seen on the channel, who's done edits for the channel as well and done some film work for me. We trained together and he's, um, you see how we, uh, if you follow my Instagram, you've seen his progress. Um, he's definitely very aesthetic. He's a smaller guy like me. His frame filled out really, really nicely and really quickly for that matter. And we trained very hard together um, and it went really, really well. And that's just another example of someone who trains with me and was able to actually get a good workout in. Um, along that same line, I've really never experienced it too much, but I know for a lot of people, um, if they do train with someone who, even if they, they may not have uh, any conflicts with them or they might not um, not get along with them or anything like that, but your training partner and you might just talk too much. Um, you might be someone that um, just kind of gets into conversation a lot, so that kind of throws off the workout. Um, so you have to kind of pick your training partners wisely, and that will kind of lead me into my next point. Um, I'm going to kind of give you guys a few examples of people who are really, really strong, and they're collectively strong as a group, and a lot of people that you guys might know from YouTube. YouTube, um, and then also um, just some people in the fitness industry and more powerlifting industry to be specific. So um, David Laid, if you guys are familiar with him, um, he's a famous YouTuber. Um, he's, I believe, only like 19 years old, maybe 18 years old still. And him and his friends are super, super strong. Pretty much everyone that is on his videos, every one of his friends, even people that are uh, like kind of, I would say, more of acquaintances of his, are super strong. And they work out at Island Gym. Um, I'm not sure where it is, but somewhere on the East Coast, I believe, maybe in New Jersey. Don't quote me on that, but they're all extremely, extremely strong. And a lot of people say, oh, they're all on steroids, oh, they're all this, they're all that. It's genetics. Well, yes, I do probably believe that a lot of them have good genetics, but for some of them, you can't say that all of them have top tier genetics. I believe that a lot of it comes with the mindset of being around people who are stronger than you, and also just a lot of people collectively that are all strong um, together. And I think that kind of breeds, one, just a hunger to get stronger, and also it just puts you in a mindset of saying like, oh, if my buddy can do it, especially knowing one another, that you want to attack that too and think you can do it and also it gives you more confidence that you can do it. So I think that's definitely a good example, especially someone being younger. It's not necessarily all uh, middle-aged or older kids. These guys are all younger, just out of high school. So along that same line, um, another good example of that would be Super Training Gym in um, California and Sacramento. So you guys probably know them from YouTube as well. All those guys are super, super strong. I know that's a very good example, just specifically powerlifting-wise, but it's another good kind of specific example relating to being in a good environment, being stronger. If you know who the Natty Professor is, he's someone who is a huge, huge natural bodybuilder, and I definitely believe he's natural, and for you guys that do not, you guys are clueless, but that's another topic. But um, he's a great, um, great guy just in general, very informative videos. If you're not familiar with who he is, definitely check him out. But he started going to super training, and he recently just pulled, I believe, over 700 pounds, and that is something that's huge considering I believe he only pulled like 
like maybe 615, 620, like a year ago or so at the online coach's gym before he really got into powerlifting and really started training at super training more often. So that's just a really good example. Obviously, you can say he has great genetics, but I think breeding um, yourself in an environment like that where PRs are happening all the time and people are lifting huge, huge amounts of weight in the squat bench and deadlift um, all the time, I think that he has a huge um, and tremendous effect just mentally. Um, another good example of that would be Westside Barbell. If you're not familiar with Westside Barbell, definitely get familiar with them, especially if you're a power lifter. But all those guys are just huge. They're freaks. And you can say what you want about the gear they take. Um, anything you want to say, all those guys are super strong. And to go in there and even step foot in that gym, you got to be a freak. And if you get in there, you typically and uh, pretty much always become more of a freak and just kind of doing research on those guys and just Louis Simmons and all of his techniques is definitely something interesting and just the whole mindset of those guys is definitely something to look into and worthwhile. So that kind of um, sums it up. My opinion definitely is just you got to find the right people. If you do like training with a partner, I definitely think you have um, some advantages to training by yourself every once in a while and being able to push yourself by yourself and also being able to, I guess, use weights that you can be um, just smart with and pick pick wisely so that you're not failing if you are training by yourself and you don't always need a spot or need to rely on someone being there. Um, for you to even be able to train effectively. So I definitely think you can make progress both ways and I definitely think both have their advantages and disadvantages, but I think it really comes down to who you're training with, the environment you're training in, whether you're training by yourself or with someone. And I just think it really comes down to um, just what works best for you. So I'm not gonna ramble on too much longer. Hopefully you enjoyed the edit before this and hopefully um, you guys are enjoying these new camera skills by my buddy Mark. Um, definitely check out his Instagram. It's Mark Becker Photo on Instagram. Definitely check it out. Like I said, he's killing it and I really do appreciate it because you guys are definitely enjoying the quality of video. So hopefully you enjoyed the edit. Hopefully you enjoyed this topic and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Please like the video if you did enjoy it. Definitely helps me out. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Talk to you guys in the next one. Stay.